Hi, dear. This is going to be really quick because I just realized I have a job starting very shortly. So just want to double down on reminding you guys that it's not the motivation that's going to take you to where you want to go as fast as you want to go. It's consistency, which kind of sounds ridiculous because, you know, we show up and we do the thing we know we need to do and we don't get the results. And then the doubt starts coming in. You got to override that consistency, showing up, doing the thing. If over a period of time, the thing isn't getting you the results, then switch that up. Your brain sometimes needs a real serious shaking so that it can't keep hanging on to what it's been hanging on to. And if you disrupt your nervous system in the right way enough, it will let go. <laughs> sometimes just long enough for you to pass a test and be into the next place that you want to be into before the scared part of you even knows what's happened. Um, I love that. That's why when I say to you guys, when I work with somebody one-on-one -on -one and it's five days or five weeks, I don't know why that's happening. I'm going to a national convention in Orlando in just a couple of weeks. And that's one of the questions I want to ask to my mentors, my professors. Um, I love it. I'm going to be speaking and doing a presentation. It's just a continuum. But then there are those guys that are above me that it's like, wait, wait, can I have five minutes of your time? Explain to me how I can just have a conversation with a student and in five days they pass. And then for some, it's like there's this lag time and it's five weeks. It's as if, this is my theory, it's as if there's that part of you that's so afraid of what you're stepping into next that it's just holding you back, subconsciously missing some stuff in the proofreading, subconsciously jumping in when you're writing and disrupting you just enough so that you just don't quite pass. And then you sit back and, and get angry and say, that's myself sabotaging me, mm, kind of. It's just that there's a part of you that's terrified and we gotta explain to it that where we're going is so much better than the place we're trapped in at the moment. It's gonna be okay. It really truly is. Actually, there's a part of you even that is so afraid of how magnificent it's going to be but it's not quite sure it can step up to the challenge. Oh, but you already are. By doing the thing that you've done, by getting as far as you've gotten, you are the stuff that great reporters are made of. Trust yourself. Consistency.